Glad to have you back again. Today I want to talk about a controversial topic when it pertains to testosterone replacement therapy. So I want to cover the topic of why you should not be chasing your hematocrit values based on an arbitrary lab number. Reason being is because all too often patients and providers alike will freak out when your hematocrit hits X value. Typically what I see or what I hear most complaints is, is that most patients will tell me that their provider tells them, well, if your hematocrit hits 50, if it hits 51, that you got to start donating blood every three months, every two months, do double reds, all this other asinine stuff. And they're told they have to do this under the guise that if they don't, they're going to have a stroke or they're going to have a heart attack, which has not been validated in the literature. And in fact, it doesn't actually happen that way. In a previous video, I talked about all the multiple etiologies that can possibly increase your hematocrit, such as living at a high altitude, such as smoking, such as being dehydrated, having kidney disease, having sleep apnea. There's so many different etiologies, so many underlying causes that can increase your hematocrit. But you know what? You're never told that you have to donate blood just because those other things increase your hematocrit. Think of it this way in fact, people that live at Denver, Colorado, patients that aren't even on testosterone, they come to us. I already fully expect that their hematocrits will be elevated when actually, in fact, a lot of these people that do live in Colorado, people that do live at higher altitudes, their hematocrits are already elevated, but we're not telling them to donate blood. So when they come to me and we put them on testosterone replacement, I fully expect that their hematocrit values will increase. Think of it this way, like people that live in the Andes, people that live Himalayans, people that live in Bolivia, those average hematocrits are cruising the middle 50s. But again, we're not seeing them have to donate blood due to possible quote unquote um, instances of heart attack or stroke. So here I want to have a little bit of fun. I want to compare five different lab companies and I want to compare their different hematocrit values. So starting at the top left, we have the VA system, and this is from a client here somewhere in the south, won't mention. Then top right, we have Sonora Labs. Those go up to 53%. Then middle left, we have Quest Diagnostics. There's is 50% is their arbitrary cutoff. And then middle row to the right, right here, we have Physicians Labs. And of the ones I presented here, they have the lowest amount of cutoff at 49%. And then we have LabCorp at the bottom, and their cutoff is 51%. So here's what I hear from patients quite often. I'll hear them say, if your hematocrit exceeds 51%, if your hematocrit exceeds 52%, you need to donate blood or you'll have a stroke. Well, if that's the case, then that means should you just go to a different lab? Should you just go from one of these guys to this one, and then all of a sudden you won't have a stroke? Now, if there's an arbitrary cutoff of 50%, well, guess what? I think I'd probably just go here, here, or here to avoid a stroke, and I'd just avoid these. So what I'm getting at is that you shouldn't be chasing an arbitrary number because there is no set number that says A equals stroke or B equals stroke because it hasn't actually been defined in the literature. So to recap, if your clinic has you chasing numbers because of this, 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 and saying that you need to donate blood, you need to get off testosterone, otherwise you have a stroke, because again, because of these numbers here, guess what? There's no consistencies across these labs, and that's quite false because testosterone alone in of itself is not going to cause a stroke, a clot, or a heart attack. It's not going to do that. Testosterone has been in our bodies since the existence of man, and yet it's only getting vilified in the last few decades. If you wish to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member and check out the links in the description of all the things I'm associated with. My ebook on compounded testosterone cream, multiple workout programs, Mizumi skincare, online pharmacy NP Labs, and a list of Amazon links to the supplements we recommend.